Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. Today we're going to be talking about Game of Thrones showrunners David Benoff and D.B. Wise and their upcoming Star Wars projects. So we knew that they were handed a Star Wars uh, property to do, their own one. And it's come out that there it will be a trilogy of films. The producing duo set to transition to the galaxy far, far away after they wrap up their work on Westeros later this year. As we all know, uh, Game of Thrones is coming to the end. Season 8 starts in mid-April, and then it's only, it'll only be on for 8 weeks. And then after that, they'll be ready to go and be able to jump into the Millennium Vulcan and fly off. So, saying so still, they are signing up for the still unknown Star Wars project was February of last year, when we, everyone found out, and there's still not much known about the film series. Over the course of the year, though, Lucasfilm has been largely uh, kept quiet about anything that pertains to their future after the bad reception they received for Rian Johnson's Star Wars The Last Jedi. And they've also been, uh, that's also been uh, kept quiet, his set of movies, as since they announced them, and since the backlash of The Last Jedi, there's been no other word. So these new films, they won't have any connection whatsoever with the Skywalker solo narrative, which is already the centre of the episodic flicks. But, see, we do learn a little bit more about the Miss Mysterious Project with a brand new report from TV Line, they have, say, claiming that Wise and Benioff has signed on to write and produce a new trilogy of Star Wars films. The article is in conjunction of the two work on HBO's Game of Thrones and how it affects their next small screen project, which was to be the controversial Confederate. As it turns out, despite the backlash, the network is still pushing through with the alternate reality series. Given that this Star Wars gig isn't the main focus of the bit, there weren't any other details revealed about the trilogy at this time. However, we do like this bit of information, because it kind of gives us that we do know that there are going to be three more films, or a brand new trilogy in the Star Wars uh, universe. However, it'll be interesting to find out what these will entail. And obviously, Lucasfilm, they always remain tight-lipped about the matters of what's going on, which is understandable considering their efforts at the moment. They are geared towards Episode 9, which is due to come out before the year end. So obviously, Episode 9, which started production last summer, it was confirmed the film will be the last episode in the Skywalker saga, which means the franchise would have to find new ways to continue outside of Darth Vader's lineage. Well, not really. You could potentially keep going with people associated with Darth Vader and have him pop up and pop into the sh- pop into the movies or the or the TV series if they make any of them, which it could be good. And you know, it could just be like you know, someone a general or whatever meeting Vader on a ship on a planet or someone you know like the via um, the FaceTime app that they probably use and. Going from there, it could be very, very good. But obviously, additionally, since Benoff and Wise are occupied with the upcoming release of Game of Thrones' final season, chances are that they want to press focus on the HBO series rather than Star Wars. But perhaps they can finally announce it formally at this year's Star Wars celebration. You never know what's happening in Chicago in April, which is most likely where we will get the first trailer for episode 9 and probably a title reveal. But obviously knowing that this series won't be connected to the Skywalker saga and it is going to be independent from Rian Johnson's own set of films, the duo's project is going to take place in a franchise unexplored time periods. That means it can be either in the far future or the distant past, which frankly sounds promising, especially in terms of the film's series sustainability and what they can find in those areas, because obviously if it's say it could be set around the same time when Anakin was a boy, or it could be even before that, we could find out about other Sith Lords, Darth Plagueis, you know, so much could be brought in. And if they wanted to, they could even bring in characters from the non-canon universe, as they're calling it now. But I really do think they should have kept all of that canon. They should have kept the expanded universe as canon. 
There are some fantastic characters. There are some fantastic storylines. And quite frankly, some of the stories in, in the books and the comics are better than the previous films you've received in the last five years. Whichever way this goes, you know, the era is going to it may be tackled before, we don't know. But branching out to other space and time settings will open up the law and allow more storytelling opportunities moving forward. As we said, Star Wars Episode Nine is out on December 20th worldwide. Catch it in IMAX. And I say thank you for tuning into the channel. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you soon.